Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is manipulation. Beloved family, our text says, Now Naboth the Jezreelite had a vineyard in Jezreel beside the palace of Ahab king of Samaria. And after this Ahab said to Naboth, Give me your vineyard that I may have it for a vegetable garden because it is near my house and I will give you a better vineyard for it. Or if it seems good to you, I will give you its value in money. But Naboth said to Ahab, The Lord forbid that I should give you the inheritance of my fathers. Then Jezebel his wife came to him and said, Why is your spirit so vexed that you eat no food? And he said to her, Because I spoke to Naboth the Jezreelite and said to him, Give me your vineyard for money, or else, if it please you, I will give you another vineyard for it. And he answered, I will not give you my vineyard. Then Jezebel's wife said to him, Do you now govern Israel? Arise and eat bread and let your heart be cheerful. I will give you the vineyard of Naboth, the Jezreelite. 1 Kings 21, 1-6 There is a myth that the spirit of manipulation is only limited to women because Jezebel who was the wife of King Ahab, who sold himself to wickedness. No, the truth is that the spirit of manipulation does not care who is being manipulated or who is manipulating. The world calls women who use men to get money gold diggers because they will do whatever it takes to get what they want. But aren't the men manipulating as well? He is spending money to get what he wants as she is receiving money to get what she wants. In her mind, she might think she is manipulating him, but in his mind, he may believe that he is manipulating her. The selfish spirit of manipulation doesn't care who is being manipulated. Has there ever been a time when you wanted something that you couldn't have? You tried the honest way, but nothing worked. Then a thought manifests. If you are willing to do whatever it takes, then you can have whatever you want. This is the mindset that Jezebel had. It is a manipulative, selfish, controlling, and covetous spirit. It wants what it cannot have and will use influence to control others. It rules the spirit of coveting to retard and obstruct knowledge and impedes relationship and communication with the truth. The spirit premeditates wrongdoing. It plans what steps are needed to achieve the desired selfish outcome. Jezebel's husband Ahab wanted to buy the vineyard, but the owner did not want to sell in obedience to God. Ahab wanted what he could not have, so Jezebel decided to do something about it. She takes control of her husband and undermines him, saying, Is this how you act as king over Israel? Get up and eat. Cheer up. I'll get you the vineyard you want. In other words, I will handle it and do whatever I need to do to get what God says you cannot have. Next, Jezebel takes control of the situation. So she wrote letters in Ahab's name, placing his royal seal on them, and sent them to the elders and nobles who live in Naboth city. In the letter she wrote, Proclaim a day of fasting and seat Naboth in a prominent place among the people. But seat two scoundrels opposite him and have them testify that he has cursed both God and king. Then take him out and stone him to death. Jezebel went so far as to authorize and arrange the death of the man who owned the vineyard so that she can give it to her husband. I realize that killing someone to get what we want is extreme. 
But this same spirit was in operation in King David. He slept with Uriah's wife, Bathsheba, and then had him killed so he can cover up an adulterous affair. It can start as a watchful eye and then a little lie, but it can then balloon into adultery and even murder. This is the spirit of manipulation at its best. So what will we do to get what we want? Often, our attempts to fulfill our desires and wants are very subtle and in some cases could be classified as healthy ambition. This is just the hook. It always seemed ambitious and innocent at first, but the desire to covet and take what we cannot have can amount to theft. It starts when we disobey the commandment of God to do not covet. We open ourselves to the same spirit that Jezebel has, the spirit of manipulation. The Satan manipulated Eve, who then manipulated Adam, and they both ate the forbidden fruit that God said, do not eat. Heavenly Father, help us to enter the gates with thanksgiving before we even get to the house. Help us to be thankful and bless your name, for you are good and your mercy endures to all generations. And every step we take towards your house, let us praise you in your courts. Deliver us, Lord, from the spirit of manipulation and from the evil one, for you are the power and the glory. Much love.